Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Just making it to the audition phase of The Voice can sometimes be the springboard someone needs to launch their music career. However, for Jin Izzo, who auditioned when she was still a teenager, it led to her quitting the music business. So, what did the former contestant have to say? As The Voice viewers have seen over the years, you don't have to win the crown to have a successful music career. People who didn't even make it far in the competition can have more successful careers than eventual winners. Sometimes, that's just how the cookie crumbles. A perfect example of this is none other than Morgan Wallen. He is one of the biggest, most successful country artists out today. He continues to sell out stadiums and make hit records. However, when you look at his tenure on The Voice, while he did manage to make it to the top 20, he certainly didn't win. Still, looking at him today, that loss on the show turned out to be the biggest win for him and his career. The Voice contestant Jin Izzo competed as part of season 10 of the singing competition when she was only 17 years old. This can be a lot for a young person to digest, especially with all the bright lights and attention at such a young age. Blake Shelton turned his chair around for Gina, and she was even later mentored by Blake's wife and no doubt singer, Gwen Stefani. She was beaten in the battle rounds of the competition. Still, it was a lot to take in for someone who was fresh out of high school at the time. While some competitors like Morgan Wallen use their experience on The Voice to launch a major music career, her time on the program initially had the opposite effect on Gina Zhou. In a recent interview, she said, I realized for a bit that I hated the music industry, that it was awful that people were so sexist and didn't trust young women and just wanted to use them. And so I quit for a while, and when I went back, that's when I formed Velvet Rouge a couple of years ago. These days, Gina Zhou is back, performing with her band, Velvet Rouge. She seems to know what not to do, so that people don't take advantage of her. She went on to say that in this business, everyone wants a piece of you. At least these days, with her band, she has more control over the pieces of her that people get, and that seems to be making all the difference. For all the latest The Voice news, Come back again to TV shows Ace for more.